guys. So I'm down in Aquino. I say down because I live up in Tuscany and we're down here in Frosinone in the uh, region of uh, Lazio. So this is a smallish town, nice town. There's a gigantic church behind me. I'm kind of basically on the town square. And what we're here to look at today is kind of a surprise. It's a three-story building. It is basically set up to be three different units. Uh, so maybe a possibility of some rental income if you wanted to live in one. Uh, but it hasn't hit the market yet. So we're going to preview it today. Uh, even Claudia Alfano, uh, who if you want to write her, her email is claudia at alfanorealestate.com. She hasn't even seen it yet. So we just arrived in town. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look around. I hear there are some beautiful women that come here from time to time and just sit around. Oh, there's one now. Hello. Hi, you want to come with me? Yes. If you're not busy for another 26 years. Sure. <laughs> um, anyway, so you ready to go see this thing with Claudia? Yes. That's all I got for right now, guys. Let's go see this apartment house building uh, question mark and uh, see what they got. All right. Hey, guys. So we're in the little village where this mystery house is and we're going to walk into the Parco Storico del Vallone de Aquino and I think you'll agree with me yes that this stuff isn't that new no definitely not but you'll see the vid uh, video you'll see the town of Aquino up here and this is a big park walk around and there's some pretty water running through it and stuff. So let's go see what we got. Very nice. Nice to see playground equipment. Nice park. And up there is part of the old, old castle. God, my dogs would love running here and they might eat somebody. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> wow, look at the travertine. I know. Look how thick this is. And I'm guessing very old. So guys, this is one unit. We're gonna get there. It has a little issue with moisture right now because it hasn't been used for a couple years. This is an entry bathroom. Nice, just a, what we would call a half bath. Nice remodeled though. Needs a toilet seat. Not the first place in Italy that needs a toilet seat. <laughs> okay, let's go up. The floor is really interesting. Up here, like little mm -hmm. marble stones. Oh. It's a lot to lot to cover here. Oh. Hello. It's America's favorite uh, real estate agent. Oh wait, Italy. <laughs> Hi. Italy. It's Claudia Alfano. Welcome. You have a nice view. Yeah. That's your little town, not too far from the mountains over there. So Claudia, tell me, this is an office? Yes, I used to import these office. from Bali. Oh yeah. <laughs> owner, she's a psychologist. Uh -huh. And she works here. They nice. Have, uh, yes. Right? So she works here and she lives on the other side. Okay. Yeah. Let's go see what else we got. Gosh, I wish you guys could smell how good it smells here. She has oh. so much potpourri. I know. Right? It smells really nice. Gosh. Wow. How bohemian. I like it. Bohemian style. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So different colors. And the painting Green. on the wall. Yeah. 
Oh, actually, that's not. It's a very thin painting, but it's nice. I hear somebody. Oh. Hey, guys. We'll try to get out here. We need to make friends first with the dogs. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Sure. There's your kitchen, gas stove, nice ancient looking stove, but probably not too old. Oh, and very important, guys, has a split system already wired. Even the room downstairs that we're going to get to has the wiring in place to put in a split system. So we're just making ourselves at home. Let's go in this bedroom first. Babe, stand by the wardrobe for scale. Yes. Another split system. So this is all with split. Hold on, let me back up. Yeah. It's big. It's really big. Yeah. Because, I mean, she's not tiny, right? Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> so that looks like a queen bed. You could easily fit a king with some different nightstands. Yeah. Boy, she really went full bohemian, didn't she? Mm-hmm. I don't know. To me, it looks bohemian. Floor's nice. Everything looks pretty tight. It needs a refresh. But what doesn't? Even I need a refresh. Bathroom. Mm hmm She must do the artwork. Look at this tub. Shower. <coughs> nice vanity. Toilet bidet. Just needs a toilet seat. Oh, yeah. Nice room. Nice view. Yeah, so there's apparently a really nice church just up the hill, up by the castle. But this is a really classic looking stone village. Yeah. Nice. This goes out to the same terrace. I don't want to get the dogs riled up, but the one where we just saw the dogs. Mm -hmm. And I think you could certainly lose this. That's yeah. somebody's daughter's thing. Lose that and you could put in a king size bed. And this room's, I think it's bigger than the other one. Looks like. And it needs to touch up on the paint. That's for yeah. sure. But I think that's about it. And little things. I mean, I notice everything. So, you know, you got to get a little cover to go back on. But they just snap on. It's no big deal. So that is this part of the house. So you had the office. And then now you have this. You have the room downstairs we're going to get to. Is there more? The other side? I think so. Let's see what else we got. Here, continuity. So this is where we came up the stairs. Remember I commented on the nice marble little stone floor? Fred, ever look at this one. I'm coming. Wow. Interesting. It's like an add-on. Interesting. Boy, you'd want to be the kind of bright and early person. You get a lot of light in here in the morning. So this is workout room and really a, a commanding view mm -hmm. all around. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the sink. Wow. That's a nice sink. Imagine dragging that all the way up here. Wow. Guys, look at this sink. I would love to have this in my house. In the kitchen? Yes. And it's nice and deep. Oli likes them really deep, really big and deep. Yeah. Then that fits it. Sometimes we see these sinks that are like four inches deep, and you wonder, how could you ever get around to washing a pot? Exactly. Thank you. View up to the mountains. And screens. It's nice to have screens, especially down here, because look, look how lush it is. So you know what that means. There'll be some buggies, 
So nice to be able to open the windows and not have yeah. some bugs. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Let's go see what else we can find. I hear there's a big garage, two car garage, electric. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, guys, so this is one last big space of this whole big property. And you can readily see, I'll address the elephant in the room. There's moisture damage on the walls. And we think it's because this has just been closed up and never really used since it was remodeled. Yeah. So uh, if you don't run your AC, it gets moist. We can tell you, even in our little rental house in Tuscany, mm -hmm. we need to open the windows and let the air through, otherwise the humidity goes really high. We actually started getting some green mold on the walls. It grows so fast. So this has been wired for AC. That's all in, that's good, because the components are cheap. It has some heating stuff. Why didn't they use it? Because it costs money every month and electricity, gas here is not cheap. But we're really kind of down. There's not a lot of windows in here. Although the light's not bad. No, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Another heater. But you can see all the way around. Yeah. And guys, you always, always, always get the equivalent of a home inspection here. Unless you know it's a total ruin that you're buying and it's obvious it's just a ruin with no roof and one wall missing, etc. So this would be the kitchen. You would need to put one in, it's not big. Sorry for the echo, not much I can do about it. Uh, this kitchen would probably be between five and 10,000 installed, just depends how much stuff you wanna do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, excuse me. What did I miss? The bathroom. Oh, the bathroom. No wonder she wouldn't get out of the way. Uh-huh, yeah. Bathroom. That looks like a washer. Hook. Yeah, that looks like a washer hookup. You need to put in the glass for the shower. That's a decent sized pan. It's like a 70, 100, 70 centimeters by 100. So like 30 inches by 40 inches. That's new. That's mm -hmm. good. Yes. See, they never even got around to putting in the finished fixtures. That's how new this is. And then they just let it sit. Electrified for your mirror in here. So, all right. Thank you, honey, for letting me know that I'm a horrible tour guide. No. Okay, this is an outside door. It goes out to the street. Now let's go upstairs. So that door goes out to this smaller street. It's not a vehicle street. Look how nice the buildings are. I mean, if you like old buildings. And this goes up to the church. So, so on this level we have just two bedrooms, right? Yes. So two oddly shaped Gosh, the echo is just, someone's going to write in comments. <laughs> what are you going to do? Stucco walls, stucco ceiling, mm -hmm. tile floor. This is a big, um, big bedroom. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> it's that big. This is where you would put in the outside component of your AC for both, both up and down. It should be able to run everything. For your split, this is for the interior part goes. Putting in splits is not expensive. The machines are not expensive. Putting them in, running those wires, that can be expensive depending on how you would have to do it. Now they're doing some sort of electrical thing right now. That's why this big box is hanging. Do not touch those wires. Yes. I assume they're killed. But. <laughs> That would be a life and death decision. So there's another head here. So the whole place is all AC'd. It's a shame they didn't use it. Yeah. They would have saved themselves a big repair with the stuck going the walls. But that's something you can think about when you make an offer. Gosh, they're big. Yeah, this is a good size. Mm -hmm. 
So that's about it for this. No. Is there more? Huh? Gosh. Oh, you missed something. Well, I right? asked you if there was a bedroom, a bathroom on this floor. You liar. Blame bread. A very skinny shower. I'm going to have Oldie jump into it so you can see the depth of it. So you got your toilet. Oh, a toilet seat. You have your toilet. All this stuff's new. You can tell. Hi. If you're tall, you have to be careful. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I mean. Yeah. That's pretty short. If you're really tall, you have to. Yeah. Well, I've seen crazier stuff. <laughs> I looked at a house in Oklahoma one time for sale, and I'm not kidding you, the breaker box was at the back of the shower for all the electrical. We couldn't find it for about 30 minutes. We didn't think to look in the shower. Go figure. So this is part of the palace, parlous, of the place. So this is like an independent unit. And they use this, they can rent it out or have guests stay here. There's the old ceiling. View out to the main roadway. And it's simple. Sink, gas stove, oven. That's your kitchen. And it has a bedroom. Again, with a nice ceiling. Enough room for a queen if you didn't mind it coming out and being pretty tight over here to get around. This is like a full. Same view. Some storage. Then a bathroom with just toilet, shower enclosure. Yeah, that's a really relatively new fixture. I think all this stuff is relatively new. All right, so that's the one little unit. Let's go see what else we got. So this is also all included. Two electric garage doors and then a lot of storage in here. that is not connected, nor does it look like it could be. I don't see any water in here. But nice to have this much storage. Yeah, nice inclusion. Let's see what else we got. Well guys, that's about it for this place. I mean, it's gigantic. It's uh, basically, as I count it, six bedrooms, Five bathrooms without being like, oh, this space could be a bedroom. No. Six straight up bedrooms, five bathrooms, multiple living areas, multiple kitchens. You have the issue with the moisture and the one apartment that hasn't been used has to be looked at. Uh, the two-car garage and all of this, everything that I showed you in this video is 280,000 euros asking price. So if you have questions, write Claudia at alfanorealestate.com. If you have questions in general, write me, bradsworld8 at gmail.com, or you can go on my website and use the form that's there, uh, bradsworld.it. Happy to answer any questions for you. Happy to look at stuff anywhere in Central Italy for you, Tuscany, Umbria, Lazio. Uh, I have a lot of experience in looking at stuff. Be very helpful if you're not in the area. If you're coming to Tuscany, if you're coming to my area around Montepulciano, Siena, Pienza, any of those areas, come stay with us. TuscanPalace.com. Use Brad's World as all small case, no spaces, as a discount code on our website. Book directly with us. We'd be happy to have you. If you come, let me know you're coming. Happy to meet with you. You can pick my brain. I'll even buy you a glass of wine. And uh, that's about it for today from Aquino. 
and we'll see you guys in the next tour. Oli says goodbye. She's downstairs getting a panino or something like that. No, I'm kidding. She's outside talking with Claudia. So we'll talk to you guys soon. This room is so interesting here, isn't it? Love the same. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Ciao.